Hello everyone, my name is Jia Bao. You can call me Amanda as well. My plant is Self Heal. This is Self Heal. I bought it in herb store in Chinatown. Can you see it? This is bigger. It is dry and smells bitter like traditional Chinese medicine. Self Heal, also known as Panella vulgaris. For common uses, it is often added to soups, stews, and boiled to enhance intake. Herbalists from Europe also regarded self heal as an herb used for treating wounds and preventing bleeding. For treatment and cures, self heal is used to treat wounds since it has properties that help in the stabilization of tissues and preventing the skin from having excess moisture. The ability to stabilize tissues also implies that it is able to treat cuts and burns. And self heal is also associated with the ability to treat mouth inflammation and used in treating food poisoning. Self heal also used to cure boils as well. In other aspects, self heal is used to cure headaches and treat eye problems such as conjunctivitis and red eyes. And it has been used in China as an herbal drink for treating minor ailments. Asian traditional folklore indicates that some old stories present self heal was sent by God to cure all ailments afflicting men or beasts. And self heal is also called holy herb. In ancient times in America, People made tea by using the root of self heal and drank it before hunting expeditions. Because people believe that the tea from its root is able to enhance the power of observation. In a different twist, self heal was used by witches who grew it in their yards and gardens to cover the fact that they were witches because of the belief that it was an herb sent by God, hence, the protective tactic used by the witches. Alternatively, the same witches use self heal to cure various ailments, as most designated healers within their communities. Self heal was also regarded as an herb of Venus, mostly due to its healing properties and restoration of beauty, especially through external wound treatment. Jews, the people, practiced Celtic religion in the Iron Age are said to have used the self heal. They gather it during the new moon when the dog star was racing and plant was blooming. They use it in treating magical illnesses, including being struck by a fairy. Self heal has been used as a cure to prevent infection, internal bleeding, the remedy for rare weakness of the liver of heart, fevers, and high blood pressures. As a cream, the self heal has been used as a medication for inflamed anal blood beads. Also, the eye wash made from it, the plant has often been used to relieve tired, puffed up eyes, and treatment of conjunctivitis. It has frequently been used for soothing sore throat. At times, it has been used as a medication for treating anxiety, mood swings, and depression when taken as a tea. The dew of self heal herb has been recommended as a tonic to inhabit and treat summer heat and summer rushes for both adults and children since it cools the body whereas its mild demulcent qualities can help to rehydrate human body. Today, I'm going to use self heal to make a rash compress. So, let's go! Now, let's combine the herbs. This is self heal. This is calendula. And this one is yellow. And this is go to color. Add some water. The 
missing that. Now, let me stir it to combine. Bring it to a boil. Yes, it's good. Now, let's simmer for about 20 minutes. Good. This is self heal tea. Now, let me ladle some of the white herbs plus some of the tea into the cloth. Now, gather the edges of the cloth around the herbs and secure with a tie. Yeah, finish. Now, let me try the self heal compress. I feel a little cold, but very comfortable. Actually, I don't feel anything else, because my skin is not sick. But I think it is convenient for people to use it, because making it is not very hard. Mm, yes, that's all. Thank you. Hope you enjoy it.